U of A's Jim Furyk, bear down. You don't need to be proficient in sign language to know that this means Wildcats, as in Arizona Wildcats. But get this, Arizona quarterback and Heisman Trophy candidate Khalil Tate continues to take sign language classes. We are talking the real deal. Khalil Tate recently told us it's a way to help raise awareness for people with disabilities who rely on sign language every day. Um, I think really because I think that's something that, you know, it's not a subject that's really touched on a lot. You know, I think that's something that you know, people should take more consideration into because a lot of people, are, you know, have, have those problems. So I think it's something that, you know, a lot of people should do. I think that helps out a lot because I, I feel like not a lot of athletes are, you know, taking that, that role and really just trying to, you know, help that community out. So I think that's something that's big. Hey, congrats is in order to a handful of U of A baseball players who spent the offseason in various summer leagues. And now Coach Jay Johnson has announced the Arizona Baseball's Summer Pitcher of the Year as Preston Price. And the Arizona Summer Player of the Year is Justin Wiley. We have their stats and those of others in the U of A players in their summer leagues on KVOA.com. Meanwhile, the D-backs and Padres squared off in the final game of their series. Into the ninth we go, all tied up at three. Can A.J. Paula come through? Well, let me see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Look at that ball go. That answers that. The home run turns out to be the game winner. Diamondbacks win 4 3. And finally, mark your calendars for Saturday, August 25th at 10 a.m. Jesse Owens Park will have the long anticipated ribbon cutting ceremony to debut its $2 million improvements and upgrades. Tucson City Councilman Paul Cunningham tells me the granddaughter of the legendary Jesse Owens himself will also be on hand here in Tucson. There's been a number of upgrades to the park. Former U of A basketball standout Corey Williams paid for improvements to the basketball court. These are pictures of what it used to look like. While well, grants from local partners such as the Tohono O'odham Nation and Cox Cable have also helped. Aside from implementing a state-of-the-art irrigation system, other improvements include two covered playgrounds, a new ball field, and improved grandstands. Of course, that is one week from yesterday on Saturday, and it should be good. Uh, 10 a.m. Jesse Owen Park. That's really cool. I mean, I like it when the, you see a really nice park. I think it lifts up kind of the whole area around it. Well, not only that, as the, as the councilman was telling me today, you know, obviously the future of Tucson are athletes or kids now, and it gives them a place to play, join sports, stay into positive activities. All right, and we'll be right back with ice cream puppies. We'll explain that a little bit.